Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 8 April 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly senior online writer Darren Parker writes that retaining oil refining capacity could pose long-term risks for South Africa. South Africa's oil refining capacity has always been rather small when considered on a global scale, but there was some sense of national pride and of security in knowing that the country could deliver, even if most of the crude input had to be imported. However, it would seem that the country is heading unavoidably towards becoming almost entirely dependent on imports as the local crude refinery industry seems to be drying up. The engineering news features focus on consulting engineers, where a local company is endorsed as the first certified training academy. Stainless steel, where the stainless steel industry perseveres in challenging conditions. And handheld and power tools, where a German power tools company launches three new sanders. The Mining Weekly features focus on West African mining and industry, where a power provider grows its West African market share and deep level mining, where a gold miner maintains steady production and its ESG focus despite challenges. This week's business leader is Dion Govender, CEO of Digital Industries. And as this week's cartoon shows, South Africa's official unemployment rate rose to a record 35.3% in the fourth quarter of 2021. It's not a new crisis, but it requires a more urgent response from government, business and labour. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, the magazine that offers you news about developments in the real economy. Happy reading and see you next time.